Hello boys and girls, this is Dr. Lee. Welcome to our series on Math Olympia for primary school students. Today, we will dive into five geometric questions focusing on area from the National Mathematical Olympia of Singapore, MNOS 2022. Let's start with a relatively straightforward question. Question 3 out of 30 questions in MNOS. The question is as follow. A square has an area of 25 over 576. If the length of each side of the square is expressed as m over n in its simplest form, find the value of m plus n. Note that 25 equals 5 square and 576 equals 24 square. It might be not common knowledge that 24 square is 576. Hence, here is a helpful hint. Since 576 is between 400 and 900, it falls between 20 square and 30 square. Given that the last digit of 576 is 6, if x square equals 576, the last digit of x must be either 4 or 6, making x either 24 or 26. So we just need to check 24 square and 26 square. Now, knowing 25 over 576 is square of 5 over 24. We can deduce that m equals 5 and n equals 24. So m plus n equals 29. That concludes our discussion on question 3. Moving on to question 9. A rectangle in the given diagram is divided into 9 smaller rectangles. 5 of these rectangles have their areas labeled as 8, 10, 10, 16, and 54. We aim to find the total area of the shaded rectangles using two methods. First method is with assumption. Let's look at a rectangle with an area of 10. Since 10 can be made by multiplying 2 and 5, we guess that this rectangle size is 2 by 5. With this guess, we can figure out the size of the other rectangles. After doing this, we find that the total area is 2.5 times 2 plus 4 times 5 plus 6 times 2.5, which equals 40. Next, without guessing, we notice that the ratio of 8 to 10 is the same as 4 to 5. So we can say that these length are 4x and 5x as shown. For the rectangle with the area of 16, its size is 4x by 4 divided by x. For the rectangle with an area of 8, its size is 4x by 2 divided by x. And for the rectangle with the area of 10, its size is 4 over x by 5x over 2. This means the area of the top left rectangle, 2 over x times 5x over 2, is 5. And the area of the bottom rectangle, 4 over x times 5x equals 20. Now, looking at the rectangle with an area of 54, one side is 9x and the other side is 6 over x. So, the area of the top right rectangles, 5x over 2 times 6 over x, giving 15. This tells us the total area is 40. Moving on to question 13. It represents a scenario where triangle ABC, APR, PBQ are right angle triangle and PQCR is a square. Given that AP is 5cm and BP is 18cm, we need to find the total area of the shaded reagents. First, write out the information. Now, cut this rectangle and paste it as shown. We'll get a new triangle. Note that this new triangle is a right angle triangle with a base of 18 and a height of 5. Therefore, the area is 45. 
This question is rather straightforward if we know the method. Moving on to question 14. A, B, C, D, E, F represent a regular hexagon with equal side lengths. The shaded area comprises three identical hexagons. Given the area of hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F as 48 cm square, we aim to find the area of the shaded region. First, cut each of the smaller hexagons into six equal pieces as shown. Then, make a slight change as shown. We see that there are two types of reagents. Let's label the area of these regions as U and V as shown. Therefore, the total area is 8U plus 6V, which equals 48. This means that 2U plus V equals 12. The area of shaded region is 6U plus 3V which is 3 times 2u plus v, leading to 36. Lastly, question 16 involves a square ABCD and rectangle ABGF and FGCD. We point E on AB, and EC intersecting FG at the point M. Given AB is 12cm, and the area of triangle ECF is 48cm square. We aim to find the area of triangle BCM. This question may look challenging at first. However, do not be discouraged. We shall see which information is important and how to use it. Focus on triangle FEM. With the base as FM, we see the area FME remain unchanged when we move the point E to B. Now, the sum of the areas of FBM and FCM is 48. Clearly, the area of triangle FBC is half of the area of square ABCD. Hence, the area of FBC is 72. Finally, the area of BCM is 72 minus 48 making the answer 24. This concludes our exploration of fine geometric question on area from the NMOS 2022. I hope you found this method insightful and applicable to similar problem. Stay tuned for more intriguing question in this series. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.